What's up guys and welcome back to another video. First and foremost, I just want to say a massive thank you for all the love and support on the PS5 video the other week. If you're new around here, thanks for coming and checking out my channel and yeah, I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, this week I worked on a mural project. It was actually the first mural project that I've worked on in about 10 months or so, which is pretty crazy. Definitely the longest gap I've had in painting a mural in a really, really long time. So I was super stoked to be able to get back on the wall and create a mural project. Unfortunately, it was for some really close friends of mine. Uh, their restaurant recently burnt down. It was pretty tragic, actually. I've known the boys for many years, since I was in high school, basically, and we've worked on a lot of awesome projects together over those years. In particular, they even let me host my first um, art gallery or exhibition in their first restaurant space, uh, where I sort of took over the space on a Sunday night, and we came up with this DIY art gallery space, and we had food and drinks, and we had an auction, and yeah, overall, it was just an epic night, but, yeah, it was, it was pretty hard news to hear that their restaurant had burnt down and they've moved into a new space uh, just down the street, still in Beaconsfield, uh, where there is this awesome wall, heaps of real estate, and yeah, I just wanted to donate my time and some paint and come up with something awesome for their new space and just make their opening a little bit more special. So that's what this project is. I'm just gonna quickly walk you over my design process. I'll show you the designs that we came up with and then we're just gonna dive into painting. But that's it for now, sit back, enjoy, grab a coffee, and um, let's just dive right on into it. Okay, so this is the mural packet that I will routinely sort of send out to clients as I go once I've come up with my designs. So basically all I've done here is I've gone down to the location, I've taken a couple of photos of the wall, and just started to draw directly on top of that wall. I know the boys really well, so I had a good feel as to what they like and sort of what they wanted to achieve. Um, mainly sort of sourcing inspiration from the farm. A lot of the food that they do, well, actually all of the food that they create, they harvest the produce from their local farms and, and that is a major factor of, of the restaurant. And I wanted to reflect that in my design. Also, uh, wine and alcohol is another large part of what they do there. So I was sort of just taking inspiration from those two things. Playing around with the idea of painting the whole building black um, and then showing them or giving them the ability to see how that would actually look and then starting to experiment with some designs. Obviously, this is a two-story building, so it is quite large. Um, if we had to paint both stories, we would need some scaffolding or a picker of sorts. So this was the first um, mural packet that I sent to them, and the feedback that I got was, um, overall, they really, really, really enjoyed it, and they liked it, but they wanted me to sort of combine my two designs, and that is what you can see. Here, that is what I've come up with. Overall, I was really happy um, and just psyched to sort of get started. And yeah, this is what we came up with. So let's uh, jump across and, and we'll start painting. <laughs> Overall, this was just such an awesome project. It felt so good to be back up on the wall after such a long year, waiting for COVID to finally be over. And um, yeah, it just felt so good to be outside painting large scale again, doing what I love the most. And yeah, what better people to do it for than the team down at Oh My. I always love working and collaborating with the guys down there. If you're from Melbourne or if you're yeah traveling to Melbourne at all, I highly recommend the drive out to Beaconsfield to check out the restaurant. It's called Oh My again um, and yeah it's, it's truly an experience that you won't really get anywhere else and you can check out the art uh, while you're there.
So it's gonna be another warm day down here in Beaconsfield. Don't have to worry about the rain, which is going to be nice. Shouldn't be too hot like it was on the first day. But first thing this morning, I'm just gonna get up and try and do that high section of the wall whilst there is no wind. I've been putting that off. because It's been a little bit sketchy up there. Lately, uh, we'll do the green line that kind of runs through the artwork, touch up a few bits, and then we'll be getting pretty close to finishing up. Hopefully today is the day as I've got another mural next week. So kind of needed to wrap this up today and um, yeah, we can dive into next week's project as well. But for now, let's just jump back into it. And I've just made the mistake of going too dark off the start. So now what I'm gonna do is transfer some paint back into this pot um, and just be a little bit more cautious on the amount this time. Just go give this a test on the wall. So yeah, I've just started adding in this green swoosh that's gonna follow its way basically all the way around the design, sort of like interlapping between um, the different veggies and sort of different elements of the design before it sort of runs around the corner and then onto the footpath. It's just sort of overall adds depth to the design. It's a little bit hard to see on camera, the, um, the color, but we actually ended up with pretty close to the, the green that we originally decided on. So. Yeah, overall pretty happy with that. This is about how much sun I've got before it starts to get really high out here. So I'm just going to try and smash this out this morning and then we'll be getting really close to being done. section here I just decided last minute to run that green line all the way to the back door and then that way it runs door to door. The wall was actually in pretty good condition since it's such an old building there was a little bit of texture and rendering going on um, and some areas and sections gave me a little bit of trouble getting those nice crisp lines but overall no complaints it was a great first wall to come back to and yeah I just had so much fun with the design I had so much overall freedom with the concept and I was really happy with the result. But that is pretty much going to be the end of this video. I've got one more mural video coming out next week. I've had a crazy busy December. But um, yeah, for now, that's it. And I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.